Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is a very basic sort of order entry tutorial um, on how to place uh, stops, targets, and, and limits uh, if you're being converted from, let's just say, MT4 or some other platform that does it differently, and you're trying to find out how to place orders in NinjaTrader, uh, this video is going to be for you. So stay tuned, and we'll get to that right after this. I'm going to be doing this in chart trader and you can see i already have it open but if you don't have this panel open what you want to do is click on this little icon up here and you're actually going to see it off but you want to trade it on if chart trader is off if you right click on the screen you're not going to see any orders uh entry uh, options right so if we turn chart trader on you're going to start to see those come up okay so then you'll have the options to buy or sell or whatever um, the way I've been always used to doing it is by placing my orders this way so I can do it directly on the chart and, and I can kind of get a visual way of seeing it. If you want to use a different order management way, I'll link a, an article in the description that you can go to to see different ways that you can be doing that as well. So what I want to do first is just something very simple. I want to place a limit order so if price hits a value of let's just say 71.40, then it's going to trigger a sell order. So the way I'm going to do that is by selecting my SIM account. And you'll see when I select my SIM account, we get this bluish gray background. If it wasn't a SIM, if it was a live account, you're going to see it actually turn color to like a gray. So that's going to be one way you can tell a difference. But um, that's going to be my SIM account. And I'm going to put uh, five contracts. And what I'm going to do is just right click on where it says 7140. I don't have to be too exact. And I'm going to say sell limit five. So five contracts at 7140. And you can always click on this line. You can move it around to different values if you want. And then you have your, your order in there. Once price hits that, that level, then it's going to sell five contracts at 7149. Okay, that simple. Um, where it gets more complex is if you want to attach multiple orders. Okay, so if we want to attach a stop to this, what do we do? So we'll right click above it. And we have an option to buy a stop limit at five. Okay, and this is going to be 7186. So I'm just going to say, okay, that's fine. This number one is an offset. Um, if, if you're not too sure what that means, set it to zero and just press okay. Um, so this is going to be five uh, buy orders we're going to be uh, doing at a limit order. Okay, at uh, 71.86. So if price was to get filled at 71.49 and then it keeps going up, it's going to stop us out at 71.86. Now, it's important to know that these are two separate positions. Okay, they're not linked in any way. And what you might want to do and what I would suggest you do is link them. I'll show you the problem first of why. Uh, if we were to attach a target, and I'm going to say we're going to buy it back at 70.48. That's going to be our target, all five positions. What's going to happen now is price is going to go up. It's going to get us filled. And then let's just say price reverses and hits our target. Okay, we made a lot of money. Okay, we're, we're all good. Um, that position gets bought back. Okay, that, that's fine. But now price continues to go up. You're not in any position. And then all of a sudden you get a sell. Um, or a buy order at 7186, right? So you're gonna get a buy order of five new contracts at 7186, but you intended that to be part of your initial order at 7149, right? That was a sought value for this. This was not a new order to buy the market, but that's what's gonna happen because the positions are not connected. So there's a feature called uh, OCO orders. You might've heard of it before. You'll see it here, OCO orders. And I'm just going to clear these all away. You'll notice as I clear them, I have to clear each one independently because the orders are not connected in any way. But watch this. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to uh, right click over on my chart trader first. I'm going to say an OCO order. Okay, that turns on this little green light. Now, any orders I enter after this point are all going to be connected. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sell uh, the market at 71 uh 59 okay and now i'm going to attach a stop at 71 uh 92 right so we're going to buy it back 
and then we're going to attach a target all the way down here at 7061. Okay, now what I'm going to do before I forget, I'm going to turn off my OCO order. All three orders now are all linked. If I click on this one, it's going to close the top two as the, the top one as well as the bottom one. If I click on this bottom one, then the top two are going to get closed. They're all linked together. So when I click here, watch what happens. Okay, they're all done. And the reason why that's important is because if I get filled and then I get stopped out, you don't want that target to remain open. You don't want that order to still be there. Okay, you want it gone. It's part of your initial trade. So you probably more than likely always want to be placing OCO orders. Now, what they've done is they've created a little hotkey, which is your control Z. And when you hit that, watch what happens. Okay, that OC green button comes on for your OCO orders. Okay, and then you can start placing your trades. So again, I'm going to sell five. Okay, I'm going to put down my target here where I where I essentially buy it back, right? And I'm going to put my stop up here. Okay, so now I have all three orders. I'm going to close my OCO order. Now all three of these are linked. So if price comes up here and then I get filled, it's going to only have my, my stop and my target open. Depending on whichever one gets hit first, the other one's going to close. Okay, if I close it manually, all of them gets closed. Now let's just say you want to do something different where you have um, an entry point, a stop, and you have two different targets. So we're going to put one at this first blue line, one at the second. Okay, what I'm going to do is take two contracts off at my B point and three contracts off at my C point. So what I'm going to do here is just right click and I'm going to sell again the market. If we get to 7162, we're going to sell it. Okay, now we're going to buy it and put our stop in at 7190. Now, if you've been following along, you'll notice that my OC button, my green one, wasn't on. Right, so I want to see if you can kind of catch that. Um, if I close one of these, the other is going to stay open. And that's not what we want. Right, so turn that button on. You can press Control Z. You can also right click and you can turn it on that way. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to sell the market, five contracts. You're going to buy it back for your stop at 71 uh, or 7201. Okay, that's our offset. And then we're going to put down here a target. We're going to put two of them. So before I actually place that target, what I need to do is figure out how big of a position I'm going to be taking off. So let's just say we want to take off two of those contracts. I'm now going to switch my order quantity. And when I right click, it's going to say um, uh, buy limit two. Right, so I'm going to click on that, and you'll notice this green OCO order is still on. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to say, let's just say the rest of it, which is going to be three contracts. We're going to go down here, and we're going to say, okay, buy limit three at 69.69. Now I'm going to line these up a little bit better with my exact targets I wanted. Okay, and we're good. Now I'm going to turn off my OCO, hit Control Z. And we're done. Okay, so now I have my limit, my stop, and my two targets. Okay, if I close any one of these, it's going to close all the other ones. Okay, and I'm cleared away. Now, from time to time, what you'll see is I'm going to create this error just so I can show you what that would be. But uh, just one second here. I'm just going to close this. Okay, what we're going to do is create a, a cell limit, and you'll see this error here. Okay, what this says is basically in our SIM account, we have this order number in some confusing, I don't know what, 30 digit number. Uh, it can't be submitted because this OCO ID, which is what this long number is, this ID number, okay, cannot be reused. So once you submit an order once, you can't resubmit it until you clear it away. So what I want to do is I want to uh, press Control Z and open it up again. So every start to every trade you have to open up your OCO order and then once you're done placing all your orders you have to close it and if you don't close it you'll get that error. So that's why I'm saying just get into the habit of opening up your OCO order 
placing your your trades and we're going to sell or buy it back that's going to be our stop and then our target i'm going to say three different targets so we'll lower our position size so we're going to say buy it back here buy it back here buy it back here okay so i have three positions three targets and all three are going to be taken off at the same stop my OCO order is open. I have to remember to close it, control Z, and now it's done. Okay, so now I have one order, one limit order, and then I have the, the stop and I have um, my three targets. Now, let's just say you wanted to take a market order and you want to put a stop on it. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to, I'm going to clear that away. Okay, so we're going to do a market order with a stop so what i want to do is i want to come down here i want to say um sell the market we'll, we'll change that back to we should say five contracts so we have some options and we want to hit sell market okay as soon as we do that it's going to take the current position that we're currently at and we're, it's going to sell the five contracts okay now what i want to do is i want to put in a stop so what i'm going to do again is i'm going to right click i'm going to add oco order and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, right click. I'm going to say buy stop at five, right? So this way I, I have five contracts coming out off at uh, 7148. So that's going to be my, my stop. And then I'm going to have a target further down. And it's going to say uh, buy market at uh, 7129. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off my OCO order. And whichever one I hit first is going to cancel with the other. And that might work for you given the fact that you placed the market order. The other thing you could do is after you take that position, you can open up your control center. And you can actually go in here and let me just bring it over. You can actually go in here where you have your positions at the bottom and you can attach an ATM order um, on your, your existing position. So if you right click on it, you'll see this button that says apply ATM strategy. Now, if it's grayed out, it's because you don't have any ATM strategies defined yet. So what we want to do is underneath ATM strategies on our chart trader, we actually want to create a new one. And what we're going to do here, and we have another video on it, I'm going to link it below if you want to get more detailed uh, sort of overview of the ATM strategy window. but I'm going to say that I want to place a five, that's my, my number of contracts, five contract order. It's good until I cancel that order. The parameters, because I'm working with futures, it's going to be ticks. And I want to have a, let's just say a uh, 25 tick stop. Okay, I'm not going to have a strategy or anything like that. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to change this to read ATM 25 tick stop. I'll press save and an OK. So now if I come over to my my window again where I had this uh, quantity, this trade I have for uh, for oil, you can see we can apply now that ATM 25 tick stop. Now if I do that, you'll see that uh, the stop got put in there. Okay, that's different than our top one. So I'm going to remove that. That's our 25 tick stop for uh, the ATM. So that was created by attaching uh, the ATM order afterwards. So you could, if you wanted to, let me just close this position. Okay, you could say, okay, I'm gonna sell the market. Uh, yeah, we'll do this the same. Okay, and it already had that ATM strategy there. So it placed my entry and my stop. So you can have different ATM orders. You can have it, uh, let's just say we had none, right? So if I place a market order, there's not gonna be any orders attached to it let me do that again so i hit sell market no atm right so it's just a normal market order if we select it with the atm it's going to put my stop in there automatically okay now if you let's just say placed a trade where you sold the market and you forgot to pick your atm order right so let me put that back to none don't forget that you are not um you're not in trouble 
you, you just have to open up your positions tab and apply the ATM strategy afterwards. So hopefully this kind of gives you a bit of a, a crash course in placing and working with orders um, from coming from a different platform, whether or not that be MT4 or something else um, that isn't as advanced, but you will, you will appreciate all the options that you have available to you because you can get into much more complex order management. We have another video on how to do trailing stops and I'll link that below. Um, but that should hopefully get you started with how to place basic orders in NT8 using the chart trader. Um, there are many different ways, like I said, to, to submit orders in the NT8, um, but this might be a way that uh, that works for you. But anyways, I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let me know, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.